Welcome to South Charlotte Sports Report Live, where we're here today to give a preview of tomorrow's 4.30 p.m. State 4A Basketball Championship between Carmel Christian School and Cannon. It will be hosted at Carmel Christian, where there will be a small group of fans allowed in with the new governor's executive order. So I know that will bring a lot of excitement to both teams playing in front of more than just a few people. Big thing for Carmel Christian will be stopping DJ Moss and DJ Nix and Jarvis Moss, two very good players for Cannon. Moss is a Stanford signee and just one heck of a player. And they also have Christian Reeves, a big seven footer and a really big cast of uh, supporting crew for Cannon. And they are the defending state championship in the 4A division. Now, Carmel Christian, 3A state championship defending champions, and they are moving up to the 4A ranks for their first effort at a championship there on the basketball side. They'll be led by the top player in the state right now, possibly, Ben Burnham, who's averaging 24 points and 13 rebounds a game. Kate Tyson comes in at 15 and 4, and Justin Taylor is averaging 14 points and 5 assists a game. They've got a well-rounded group behind them, including a Glenn Bynum, Kyle Bean, a couple other really good ball players that are playing very well for Carmel Christian right now. Carmel Christian had a very easy path through the playoffs to the state championship, whereas Cannon had a little bit more of a battle, including a uh, really tight game with Greensboro Day to get to the championship. They also defeated Charlotte Latin and Covenant Day on their way to the championship. Really expecting a very exciting game. The key will be for both teams, stop the other team's best player. You cannot let Ben Burnham get... Uh, rolling and flowing into the action of the game and, and vice versa you can't let Jarvis Moss get going for Cannon so we're expecting a very exciting game I'll be there covering this game with South Charlotte Sports Report one of the first games that uh, we've been allowed to come to since this pandemic has eased up a little bit and the new governor's executive order just allows for a little bit more room never felt like I should show up and take a key seat away from a parent so uh we stayed away pretty much until then for the outside, inside events, but hey, we're ready to be back, ready to cover an exciting game, and I'll have updates throughout the day beginning tomorrow at 4.30 on South Charlotte Sports Report. Thanks, and have a great day.